the peril of the planet is more urgent than ever. And one of the reasons we know that we're imperiled is not just climate change, but the loss of all the species that support us and everything around us. San Francisco used to be the fourth largest dune system in California. From Ocean Beach and the Sunset and Richmond districts, all the way through the Presidio and into downtown, they were moving in mobile sand dunes. Teeming with life, the wild things were abundant. The San Francisco sand dunes had easily 40 species of butterfly. The Xerxes was one of the first recorded or documented cases of an animal going extinct or being driven to extinction by human causes, by developments, by habitat loss. The dunes that we're standing on top of today were all paved over, and essentially San Francisco lost the entire habitat to development. We really know about Xerxes because of the amazing collections that we have here at the Academy. These collections that we've built really form the basis for understanding everything around us. To better understand our future, we have to know where we came from in the first place. And so we have these incredible collections dating back hundreds of years, or in case of geology, millions of years, to understand our past. And so we're able to look at the climates, the ecosystems before us, and it better informs where we're going as part of the ecosystem today. We are restoring this habitat to bring back the wild things and protect biodiversity here in the city. They involved several groups of scientists, butterfly lovers, and, and others to try to figure out how to build the habitat. And one thing that's missing from that is the Xerxes blue. The role it would have played as a pollinator, pollinating all sorts of flowering plants. It would have provided food for other animals that eat its caterpillars. It's part of the food chain. So there's a balance there that we're trying to better understand and bring back to the Presidio. By looking at the genome of an extinct, the extinct Xerxes and the genomes of surrounding butterflies in the Bay Area today, we can hopefully understand and inform the process of what species might be able to survive in the Presidio today? What were the components of the genome that might have helped it survive the cold, wintry, summery weather of San Francisco? And as part of that process, we hope to be able to de-extinct the role in the ecosystem, not necessarily the blue itself, but to bring back a cousin that will be able to survive in the Presidio. We're using really cutting edge method with these really, really old and really, really um, valuable specimens. Everyone always asks, you know, how can you bring something back that's been gone for 20 years, 40 years, 150 years? But the truth is you can look at all kinds of examples from bringing beavers back to Scotland to, of course, to reintroducing the wolves in Yellowstone. What dramatic ecosystem changes are made that are so positive. So, we can only imagine that even bringing back the littlest critters will have tremendous impact. By bringing them back, we bring back the ability to build these habitats and ecosystems to be stronger than they were. And the more redundancy of organisms and the thicker that web of life, the stronger it can be. Those healthy ecosystems are better resilient to drought, and floods, and our impacts on them. Anything that we learn about the process that we're developing through this particular project has the ability to inspire other people to consider this work and to recognize that we are essentially stewards of the world.